Okay, back now, slightly more in control. Sorry, I was a bit emotional on the last one. I hate it when wide people, purely by virtue of their wit, shove me about because that means that something based on, you know, the size of a human being can influence whether I pass or stay, and that should never be the case. Okay, so where do we stand today? It's a complicated one. All right, so this morning, um, I wasn't up here. I was on kitchen duty down at Maple, and... Uh, I got report. We heard reports that someone had been arrested. The policing had changed. Now, since January, we have had this entire road is our road, and only when we do things that you know, the police consider unjust or wrong or whatever, um, they close it off or they move us out of the way. But at no point since January 5th have I actually not been able to sit directly across from where I'm currently sitting. And if you can picture it from our point of view, when we've been here this long. It's like we lost a little chunk of our chessboard. And if that meant that every day when I come up here happened like it did today, where by the time I reached uh, Paradise Island there, the little traffic island, I am then pushed across the road to this side, whether or not I want to be, and that I cannot then pass either through the centre reservation to cross up there or um, go and sit over in that hedge-to-hedge footpath that happens to be the driveway. I don't obstruct, I get up and move when I'm uh, generally, when a vehicle's coming. So, you know, there's not a lot that we do wrong here. We are trying to win this in a million ways that don't invite violence and arrest as well. But to me, if we don't today succeed, or in my head, in sitting my ass somewhere over on that side of the road, I'll feel like we've lost a bit of our chessboard and that big wide men, by virtue of their wit, and their brutish behaviour won the day. And, you know, it's not winning, it's not a competition, but it's it's how you feel inside at the end of that day is you don't steal my, my empowerment of myself, my ability to cross and recross and sit or rise. You know, these things are not in the hands of a wide man to dictate. And I was just really unhappy with the way we were handled this morning. There were two further, there were three arrests in total, apparently, before I got here. Um, bronze tell, I went and spoke to bronze officers, uh, good and bad, when I spoke to bronze. One was to identify why on earth the policing changed in the way that it did to the point where there were police lined up in the centre, even when there wasn't a vehicle coming. Ascertain that... Um, the ve- and worth noting down at Maple as well that the vehicles that are coming in today have not had police escorts so where well, you could actually tell which ones were destined for the site you can't really now which is probably a sensible move on their part but not helpful for us so now you can't really tell which ones are going in so as the vehicles come up this Bron said that uh, he had it from one of the protests uh, one of the texts today uh, said to his officer we're going to close this road and it was probably just a, a reaction you know, sometimes we say stuff we don't mean um, but because he said it to an officer and it was filmed, uh, then Bronze felt that, you know, should that then eventually unvo- unravel and there was a coach load of people, that then he felt that then he would be implicated in not acting on, you know, a clear threat. Uh, whether this is true or not true, I'm not, I'm not going down on anything. I'm just simply saying that's what he is saying has occurred. For our side, though, um, today is not... Today is about making sure that he doesn't do what he did which is that instead of then dealing with that person or that isolated incident he then has put in the policing and basically said to everybody like you would a room full of kids well it may only be one or two of you but all of you will sit there shut up and do as you're told now you know I am here as an autonomous protester I will not shut up sit down shut up and do as I'm told I'll do what I am here to do and it is within the law and they have no right to stop us and I need to get, regain that right by the end of the day. But I also took an opportunity while I was with Bronze because I believe I was being filmed and there was another officer with him. So what was really important to me today and my main mission today, uh, because as you might have heard on the last live stream, I'm experiencing some health issues now. My chest is very sore. I have two mouth ulcers. I have an earache and a headache. I haven't been to a doctor in 14 years. I don't take pills. I, I'm a fit and healthy person. However, um, apart from, I broke two wrists once, but hey, that wasn't really the same sort of thing. But uh, we also spoke this morning at the site, and I found others with the same symptoms. Also nosebleeds, and that's a really scary symptom. Uh, but we know that coming out of this site now, on the back of flatbed lorries, which makes no sense to me at all, 
uh, boxes with liquid. Boxes with liquid. How is that right? All liquid removed from this site should be lo- removed in double skin ca- uh, li- uh, you know, tankers. So anyway, so the dust clouds come and the, the, the stuff drips onto the road and the dust clouds kick up and I feel quite ill and uncomfortable. So I took the opportunity while I was with Bronze Command to say that I, um, I was going to report to him about our health issues and my concerns for his officers as well as site staff and security because now we're limiting ourselves to four-hour shifts and I'm certainly taking a day off between days. I'm here now. <coughs> Um, and that's to it was to let him know about our health issues and that um, particularly for female officers that the impact of this dust and this uh, drilling muds and the radioactivity of the eventual wireline logging uh, the impacts of this industry are particularly strong on women uh, to our reproductive organs our developing infants if we're pregnant and uh, to the incidence of breast cancer So now he's aware of this information and he had someone with him when I told him this. I expect this to be reported to HSE and I expect HSE to come down and monitor this working environment for these officers and these staff because if you worked in a factory or an office and there was a problem with the air and you felt sick, then you would have that checked by HSC. Now, some of these officers are doing 15-hour shifts, and they are breathing this stuff. It's bad enough we're on a busy A583. We're all breathing more diesel. But if you go to the Quadrilla site where the monitoring systems report, you can see that the parts per million of diesel in the atmosphere is greatly increased. Now, that isn't down to the traffic alone, even the increased site traffic, but they use diesel generators on site. We understand that drilling muds have somehow um, have got diesel in them too, so... And then this waste that's coming off, that's a real scary thing. Also, a resident got a letter uh, back from Quadrilla yesterday or the day before. And in that letter it says, just to confirm, because they they inquired about radioactive uh, materials on site. And they wrote back to confirm that, yes, uh, radioactive materials are now on site but being handled according to um, regulations and standards and uh, so on. So... Uh, so that's confirmation then that uh, wireline logging equipment is now going into the site. And that's scary. You know, if you look up wireline logging on a frack site, you'll find that only one person can be on site when they do that. So when you see them clear the pad, as I did the other day, that means that there's wireline logging taking place. And that uh, the dust in the air is awful. <sighs> It's got to come a point where I think, you know, much like Horse Hill, where the illness will get to us to the point where we won't be able to be here. And then all you'll see is a line of police and security and site workers gradually getting sick. Or maybe they'll just replace them all the time so you don't witness it. But, you know, this is an unhealthy impact on our community. And I'm not a scaremonger. And I know I smoke, uh, but I smoke chemical-free tobacco. I know exactly how big my cough is that acts as a filter for that, but I understand my body well, and this tightness in my lungs is quite... I've never felt it before, and it's horrible. So, um, yeah. And there's also a helium quality to my voice. You know, I I can hear it in my live streams that I'm speaking, like, from a throat level rather than where I usually speak from, and that's only been since the dust cloud. The good thing is that this stage in develop usually... In development, usually all you need to do is do a few days away uh, from the site and you'll recover. So I'm going to go off site this afternoon and then I'll not return here till Monday. So I'm hoping I'll feel better by that stage. Right, those vehicles have left. Right, so when I spoke to Bronze, he was going to go back to Silver and check if um, they're clearing. Oh. So that we can, so I can move across the street. Which I fully intend on doing in about a minute. I'm going to check with the blue guy. Where is he? From Radon. So you've got more. I intend on crossing the street to sit where I always sit, and I've told Bronze that I intend on doing that. Um, he did say he'd get back to me. I'm sorry, I'm live stream. Uh, he'll get back to me. No, he hasn't done yet. Okay. So I'm now going to walk across and sit where I've sat since January 5th, and time, so we've got a mercy on my goes. soul. Um, a rickshaw down there yeah. with, all, with all the packers. Oh, what's there? Yeah. 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 Y
I'm sorry, I'm going to go out of the way. When I spoke to Bronze, I told him I would be doing this, and he's going back to silver to check. But you cannot tarnish us with the same brush. I'm not Jan- I know, I'm not. but since January 5th, I have sat there. Okay. If I lose my control and ability to do that, um, to me, that's such a huge offence to my right and my dignity right. to do my job. Then let me ask you to not put me in a position. Yeah. Well, so we can check with Bronze, please. I'll, I'll make Thank you. He's just having a meeting with somebody at the moment. Okay. Okay. But I do want to know otherwise we're going to have to confront and you'll have to arrest me and that's ugly, offensive and unnecessary. It's getting back to bronze now. Uh, So, yeah, so we'll just wait and see. I said said to him I was going to um, take my seat as I always do. Yeah. And... um, he said, don't, don't, don't make, put me in that position. And I said, well, I've spoken to Bronze and told him that's what I'm going to do. I said, and he was going to get back to me. I said, and I'm going to be doing that in a few minutes anyway. Yeah. I said, regardless of whether he gets back to me, so perhaps you want to check with him first then. So, uh, otherwise, it'll lead to arrest. And I've got my granddaughter down the bottom. I really didn't want to get arrested today, um, or any day, really. Um, but she is in safe hands, and my sister's coming in a bit later. But I will do it. I'm not going to give in to a total abuse of power which is what this is because why why can't i sit there you know what have i done that means i can't sit there yeah. i don't say because somebody else did it i well i didn't do it you know yeah. and who is it sat where at what point that's caused such a problem for them anyway well right, exactly I was sitting there earlier this morning yeah but apparently he's they, they claim that they were told that the people sat there that one of them said well or beforehand had said well once we get across we're just taking the road anyway and you'll not get anything in. now I, I wait to see that on, on video but you know every that, once in a while you do so but also but also that. some of us do have bravado and say shit like that yeah thank you well, I'm done with my little pink thing don't come back it's a proper cigarette case that's thank you so I've just rummaged my entire body and pouch to find it there it is so I'm just waiting he's having a meeting I just explained sadly to the policeman that that even if he doesn't get an answer it doesn't really matter because in five minutes I'm walking across to sit there I'm not going to give up my space and that if they have a problem with that well they'll have to arrest me and we'll see how we go we've got a light Leslie to the lovely people on live stream who are patiently listening to this being repeated sorry and also I can't read your messages I'm sorry I haven't got my glasses on if I get arrested I'll read them later (laughs) I don't think I will I think they're gonna they've eased off the middle line policing they know we're reduced in numbers there's no reason no excuse and no there's nothing they can say to make this okay to arrest me for sitting there exactly no, no, there is no risk. I mean, we were blocking the road when we were over there. There no. are no more people here. With their there are no more people here than on several other days when it's been perfectly acceptable to use the refuge and the hatch section down the Absolutely. By the refuge, we mean Paradise Island, which is the traffic island just there. And we use that because it's a good place to stand. I notice that lady is now standing there. It's safe and nothing happens. I think they've been told to tone it down. You'll notice the middle line got cleared and at least she's standing there. And in a moment, I think, I know Michelle's made her claim onto her side of the road. Will you take my live stream? Leslie, will you take my live stream? Okay. Um, you don't, I don't want to film what you're saying to me, but film... Um, you just hold it? Yeah, just hold it. Okay, okay. over there. <laughs> I'm going to talk no, to him, but hopefully I'm going to... Oh, not yet, in a minute. Give it a little while. Oh, they keep going through it, it's 
The, um, we've got the evidence gatherers back. <coughs> Don't know. Is it going to be a sort of case of a standoff? They're on one side and we're on this side. I have no we'll idea. We'll see what happens when the team goes across. Perhaps we should all go and stand on the island. The trouble is if you do it in a mass way, then we all have to be more threatened. We'll sort of shuffle across. I'd like to know how far this extends this boundary, you know, if you, you know, if we walk down, where would we stop us from walking down the middle from? Would we round that bend or how far down we would be allowed to come if I should Matrix up in top of new plan. Well, I'm holding this and then I'm going to walk home. Giving a commentary? No. It's a lovely day today here at DNR. Come and join us. Come and get going. Don't mind the police. I'm back from the front of the stage. It's going to be another day, all day, and nothing happened. That's what we're doing. 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 That's what so they're even importing people to do that sort of thing now, local jobs. It's probably because there's not much doing in the drilling department, it's come mending the road. <laughs> it's hardly forgotten the afternoon, so I saw how I've looked at what we've moved up. Is it? I don't think No, 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 no. No, I think she's I think I still think I still think the island is under dispute. The island's what? It's still under dispute. I think the 
why. So I'm going to do it anyway. The Matrix I know. They just they, serve somebody off. The Matrix know the plan because they just swapped over now. They, they seem know. to come standing in the middle again. <laughs> and then they know that I'm going to go and stand. I'm going to go and sit. I'm not going to block traffic. And every one of them is waiting for that because they've been told. And then it'll be a rest. There's the, the evidence gatherer ready. Yeah, what yeah. Why though? What have we done? We've done nothing. It's the new tactic. Where is this to, injunction? It's a new tactic to contain. We it, cannot isn't it? do this. Instead of, instead of trying to use the law, they're just going to use a tactic to try and refuse our right to a reasonable right to protest. A meaningful right to protest. A meaningful right to protest. A meaningful protest. Right. Do you complain to about this? Do you want me to just keep filming? I think so. I think what I might do is give you my charging pack. Also, I'd rather my phone didn't come in with me. Yeah, I've no idea how to use any of this stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. I'm going to talk to Katrina really quickly. And um, Who do I give this to? Um, if um, give it to Leslie. Leslie, I'll give you. Do you to do with it? Well, that's the usual tactic. I mean, if they get away with this, they've won. And, you know, no, they haven't won. We just have to stand here forever more. They haven't won. Nature wins. We all lose, including these people. <coughs> They think they've won, but that because they have the foolish notion that they're in control, and they're not in control. But they've won every single side if they win this one. They'll do it everywhere. They'll do it everywhere. They'll do it everywhere. If they get away with this now, they can tell you where, you're, where and where you can't be. No, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is the big thing? Jesus Christ. That's nasty. That's nasty. That is nasty. Nice sense of smell has come back now. It's that like was all right. That was like petrol, yeah. There's no reason why we can't be on the verge. If we can't be in the entrance, because we block the entrance, why can't we stand on the verge? Because they need to cut the hedge. Did you get the grass Kind of will be heard. Uh, when you're ready to stop that, when you're ready to stop that, yeah. down in the bottom corner it says stop. Oh, finish. Finish. And yeah. then, it'll, then you wait a second and it'll say uh, cancel or, or accept. Yeah. It'll accept or upload or whatever it is. Okay, okay, whenever I stop it, yeah. whenever what might have happened has happened. Yeah, and make sure you've stopped it, otherwise, every word you say afterwards, like I've accidentally done or a few of these. So, so uh, just when I've stopped, when I want, when I want to stop it, I do finish yeah. and then accept. Okay. So feel free to narrate okay. what you're seeing or explain what's occurring, and particularly accepting that some people have joined the stream and they've only just got here. Okay. So I'll do a quick summary now. As um, In a moment, I'm probably going to cross the seat and try and sit where I always sit. I fully expect to be arrested. 
I'm not content with that. I don't believe there's cause for arrest. I don't believe there's justification for it. So as a result of that, I will want to push my right as a human being to cross the road and not be hindered from doing so. Why? As you can see, Tina's attempting to cross the road. Can you stay off the road, please? Why? This car's trying to come. Can you stay off the road? Your safety at risk. Usual excuse of our safety at risk. When the greater, sa greater risk, of course, is what's going on across the road with that drill. They're now being kettled, aren't they? Permanently kettled, as far as I can see. Oh, now pulling for something out. trying another approach. You can see that the evidence gatherers are there. That is what is known as a legal protest. Legal protest. Well, what was once was legal that protest. That is a legal protest that she is doing there. That is a legal protest, not an illegal protest. Why aren't you allowed on board either? So... You do know you're all breaking the law. Yeah. And you know, families are happy when they see you on video. Yeah. What have you been doing today? Yeah. Move the old lady off the road. Well, I stopped being tablet. How brave! Oh, brave. Oh, brave. Oh, brave. So you saw there, Tina moved across the road. So what was once legal and acceptable to go down the hatch section in the middle is today not acceptable. the police are trying to justify what they're doing which is restricting our right to meaningful protest even more and we are effectively being kettled on this pavement we have not been allowed to go into the middle of the road or the refuge Paradise Island, call it what you will, which is definitely a part of the public pavement, and we're not even being allowed on there. What the justification is for the police to be doing this, I really don't know. see none of us are causing any obstruction to the traffic moving.
is attempting, I think, to block us having a decent view of what's going on over there. Naughty's not evidence gathering. He's not evidence gathering, is he? No. Yep, yep, clearly no one is going to be allowed anywhere near the entrance, the site entrance. This is an even worse restriction of our right to protest. Anyone who's just coming on will see that we are no longer allowed in the hatched section of the middle of the road or indeed on Paradise Island. In fact, for most, since lunchtime up certainly, we've been corralled, kettled, whatever you want to call it, on this side of the road. We are only allowed onto the, this pavement. Of course, the police say it's being done for our own safety. You can see that we're all highly risky people about to leap on yeah. trucks or anything I don't think who's had an operation because he swallowed a stone. Sorry, that was slightly distracted. Sorry for that. going on with the rig. New pipe going in on the rig. Which of course, the reason we're all here is trying to stop that. To have some meaningful impact on that. But the police seem intent on not letting us do that. They just want us to stand here 
maybe wave a placard, but we're not really seem to be being allowed to do much more than that. Which isn't really my idea of having a meaningful focus. Protest means you should be able to have some effect on something. Doesn't seem that we're going to be allowed that today at least. How very very threatening we all are that requires to be kettled on this side of the road we're only safe on this pavement it's all here we're all here being kept here for our own protection clearly the road is a very dangerous place Carry on, no man's further on, it's alright. And there's the rig. Still operating, I think they just put another pipe on. And the police helping them to do so. <laughs> I'm not used to live streaming, so I don't know what to say. I just wandered up a couple of times. I'm an absolute novice at this. Never done it. Well, I'm just trying to make sure we film it. Well, she's talking to a woman now. We don't know if she's doing. No, the the um the others have disappeared over there. Whoever she was, the commanders or whatever they are has disappeared. Well, yes, because when all this dust and everything is kicked up. It's as hazardous to the police as it is for yeah. everybody else. Especially to the women. Yeah. yeah. And the, the shifts they're working, they're, I mean, we can choose to come and go as we please. The police, yeah. Yeah. can we hear some people say they're working 15-hour shifts um, in a very healthy, unhealthy environment? But hey, <coughs> there we have it. <laughs> Should us go back down here? Big cops are bigger than us, and that's an unacceptable state of affairs. So yeah, so he said um, he's tried to reason with me. Yes. Yeah. So I've explained that on a personal level, I'm not going today without having done what I feel is really important, which is make that statement. So I'm just going to do it, and I know they're going to arrest me, and it's shit. <sighs> what else do you do? Sit back and go. You know what? I will be told what to do. As a totally innocent, never committed a crime person, I'm going to totally do what you tell me to do. <laughs> then I live in a police state, and there is no valid reason for what they're doing. There is no valid reason to stop me crossing this road. I, I said to him, I said, I will absolutely comply. Give me one good reason. There isn't a good reason. It's all oh, well for the interest of safety. Well, there is no unsafety if I'm sat in my usual bit of road. There is no unsafety in that. And all that happens with that is that on Monday we get to wake up and they've taken the centre of the road and we never get to get it back again. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. What were you doing on the traffic island that was dangerous? In law it says you may cross and recross any Absolutely. road. It's Absolutely. just what you can do. Absolutely. And now they are stopping me from crossing and recrossing. Yeah. So if I let them do that, then I, I let my granddaughter's future down in a bigger way because then I lose democracy. So I'll wait till this next one goes. I'm running out of charge. Oh, there's a charger there. You can have a charger. I can put it out in two minutes. Yeah, you can borrow it for a while. I've, that one's off full now, I think. Or nearly. I don't know. I'm, um, she doesn't actually know what she's doing. Well, I don't so know what I'm doing. very kind. Of I'm, I'm just... I'm just Wandering along and sort of holding it, hopefully pointing it in the right direction. But, uh, I'm not going to stop. There's no need to hurt me, though. No, you're not going on the road. Don't hurt. You can do it. I'm a very small person. Very busy cars coming across. Oh, you know, I made it to 55. Yeah, so you remain on that side. And now there are no cars. You need to remain on that side. There's no cars. Okay. 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 people are saying. We all go over there in yeah. solidarity. People have been really good today. No we trouble have. from anybody. On this side There's been the three arrests. What do you want us to do? Just sit down and read a book. I think you do. Well, we're not going to. And we're not going to stop here. We're going to leave tomorrow or the next day. And when's your turn to go to Kent? Oh, gloomy heck! You know, Kent, you're only 20 miles from France! Yeah. My God! <laughs> Whose idea was that? Whoa! Boo, boo! What? Okay, we're going to get sold off. Well, I'm just not in. Except that's the Harry Potter roundabout. Hey? 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 You said it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, of course, we can't see. taking away the human rights to protest no. in this country. It's a corporate state. It's not. It is a corporate state. Certainly where democracy has gone. Democracy has died on this road. They would all go and sit over there and come It's absolutely died. And Tina has been taken around the back of the van, so, of course, so we can't see what's going on. Oh, the evidence gatherers there. Oh, yes, yes. Their evidence, not ours. Oh. 
Well, all these officers here, it's a very, very dark day, it's a bad day for democracy. What democracy? The right to protest, our human rights. They're just being trampled underfoot. Frankly, this is. We now I have am an injunction on resting your road. The de facto, a de facto injunction. injunction. Put on by these people who've got no right to do it. Usually it takes a judge. But they set themselves up as judge and jury. Here comes the van. Shall we give them what for in court? This is the fourth arrest today. Is it? Well, terribly, I think terribly. it's the, at least the fourth. One, two, three. Yes, it's the fourth arrest. Yes. This is Tina. We had Gazer earlier. We had uh, yeah, the, the, young, yeah, the young man who did nothing except perhaps needle the police or accept it, make them question what they're doing. And the first young lad was sitting across the road along with several others. They didn't get arrested, but for some reason they picked on him. Just one for no particular reason. Oh, and here comes. The, here we go. Security yes. Well, they don't need to do any security. The police are doing that for them. Police doing a wonderful job of assisting the quadrilla and preventing us having a meaningful protest. Well, it's not what I used to think the police were for, but it seems to be what the police do these days. Just as a sign, just a little sign. Arms crossed, hands on face, arms crossed, arms crossed, arms crossed, arms crossed, arms crossed. And all, all smiling. You none of you people are happy in your skin. You don't like being smiling. yourselves today. You might do when you get home. At this moment in time, you guys, the body language is of people that I don't want to be here. Why am I here? I'm wasting my time and we feel the same. Better things to do, surely. I've got them lots out there in their cage. Psychology lesson over. You still got your arms crossed. Yes, well, yes, that's security. Well, well, I, need you to be I don't really expect much better from the security. I had hoped, I had hoped for better from the police. Yeah, well, well, the environment for the future. Tina has been slogging her guts out for ages, years, trying to stop this happening. And what do you do? You go and arrest her. It's just appalling. That in itself is criminal. It's criminal! It is because criminal! These people are the criminals! The line has been made! The line is gone! Oh, I went and did it that night! I went and did it that night! I'm just a poor 
horrified at what I've witnessed today. Horrified. Spreading the word. Oh, I'm spreading the word. I'm still not telling you. I'm here today as a public health doctor, a former public health doctor, to try and protect the public health. You are supposed to be protecting the population, and you're not. You're protecting Quadrilla. And it's all about money, and at the same time, the government who want this are stuffing you in your pay. Wake up! Wake up! Your turn will come. The very least you should be doing is looking at that. The day will come, believe in karma. Yeah. I believe in karma. Yes, so do I. I do. Yes. As you can see, the security, gorilla security, find it all very amusing. Mm -hmm. Well done. You got there. Have you got there. You do. You do, but you get to the point where you've got to shut up. You have to say. You have to speak up. You, you, have speak speak up. Up. Yeah. you have to speak up. You have to speak up and say what you think. If you don't speak up and say something, we have to speak then nothing up. will change. Nothing will change. You have to speak up. Blockheads. I yes. learned some of it. People don't believe it. Not possible. It's not. Well, possible. Not our police. It's not the police I thought we had. It's a shock. Isn't it? it is. It's come as a, it has come a great shock to me. But it's, it's been a wake-up call for what the police are really about. And um, it's pretty frightening, really. But it's something we have to stand up against. Yeah, sure. He shouldn't be in vans like us because. Well, I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm keeping on because I'm thinking, why haven't they driven off? Because usually they, they put them in the van away. and they drive off. The why station. are they not driven off? And then the custody signs will have something to say about it. Yes, yeah. so why, why, why are we still here? I don't know. Well, that's what I'm. Because it's not that there wasn't. There's been ample opportunity for the van to pull out into the traffic. Yeah. It's not that there's, there's not been traffic, so I don't know why. It has to look into some point to the arrest and let out. clear so there's no reason why that van hasn't pulled out so what's going on So, are they thinking about it? Are they thinking about de-arresting de her? What are they doing? I think they make it up as they go along, frankly. Acceptable. No one's no one's been pushed out of the catch area right down 
there at the moment. Black team is standing there. Black team is standing there. Uh, So, we're still here. I'm gonna, gonna keep filming this and see what happens. I mean, how I've seen people arrested before. Oh God, excuse me, the battery's going low. Do you know how to? It's got. It says the battery's low. Do you know how to do this? No. no. Where, where's Katrina? Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking for. Where's Katrina? Do you know how to handle this? Because how do you know to plug this in? Because. It's